hello! Welcome to this week's vlog. My name is Laura and this is my channel, Laura's Little Library. So, this week's vlog theme is shapeshifters. Um, I believe it technically goes by a different name. I have fun names for each of the weeks of the vlogs, and for some reason I'm not using them except in the video titles, but oh well. So this is beast mode. This week is beast mode. It is focused around shapeshifters, primarily werewolves, but if I didn't find werewolf books, I would just do regular shapeshifters of any kind, but I did find werewolf books. So I just got home, and there are a few things that I need to do. I need to finish editing the vlog that's supposed to go up today. Normally I like to go, I like them to go up Thursday morning, but there was just so much editing. I did not get it done yesterday. So my top priority will be getting that vlog up and then I have to take some pictures for my part-time virtual job, which is really fun. And then that's pretty much all I need to do. It's like take a shower and then I can start reading for today, which is really exciting. The first book that I'm going to start with is called Hound of God and this is by Steve McElliston. And this is one of the books I picked up at that new local bookstore. This is a local author, um, which is really cool. I haven't really read a lot of like specifically local authors. And my copy is signed, which is really cool. So I'll be starting with this one. It's the smallest um, and I'm really excited to read it. I'm kind of hoping I can get it done today, depending on how long editing and working is. But I think I think I definitely have a good chance of getting this done today if I don't get distracted. So that's the goal. That's the plan. Nice and simple. I'm gonna get to it. All right, it is just past seven o'clock. I have done quite a few things. My video for today, so it's seven o'clock, and my video is finished editing and it's uploading, and it says it has an hour and 41 minutes left. So in like an hour and a half, two hours, I'll have a new video up. It will be up Thursday. It'll just be Thursday night. Sorry about how late it is. I'm gonna try not to do that again, but it just felt like I needed to capture Wednesday's content of like actually reading the book and enjoying it and displaying it. I also realized, so obviously it's a very long vlog if it took me this long to edit, but I also realized I never watched like a Halloween movie or like spooky season movie uh, last week because I'm trying to add the movies based on their themes um, to, you know, to the vlogs. And there weren't any like dark academia movies that I've been like looking forward to watching. Um, so if you have any suggestions, put them down below. Uh, otherwise, yeah, so we're just going to move on to shapeshifters completely. I am going to start Hand of God as I'm waiting for this to upload. And that's kind of what my plans are for the rest of the night. So I'll update you after I've done some reading and can give you some initial impressions. Update time. So it is 9.30 at night. I've been reading Hand of God. I've reached page 62 and I'm DNFing it. I cannot stand this book. There is, there, I'm sorry to be so harsh. I really, really wanted to like this book, but I cannot find a single thing that I like about it. It's not very long and I really wanted to like it because it's local author, but I, cannot force myself to read this. I I hate DNFing books. I will always try and push through if I can. If you look on my Goodreads, there are only four other books that I've DNFed and most of them aren't like true DNFs. Most of them are, now it's just not the time. I'm still interested in finishing it. I'm still interested in reading it, but life got busy or, you know, I, I the audiobook expired and I just haven't been able to get it back for whatever reason. But I am truly DNFing this. I hate, okay, I feel like hate is a strong word, but it takes me to hate something in order to DNF it. Uh, as you can tell, I'm very passionate about this. The characters are flat and feel like not real human beings. There is no emotion behind anything that's happening. Uh, and 
literally the description of the character does not match the cover which is stupid the formatting of the book is wacky and distracting this feels like a second draft rather than a final draft like the writing is terrible there are so many sentences that i just could not i had such a hard time with um it feels like a self-published book but it's not it it went through publishing and the author is worked 25 years in editing and publishing so i don't understand why this book is so terrible. I'm not interested in the plot at all. I read the last chapter because that's the last thing I try and do in order to save a book and it was a cruddy ending. So I, there is nothing I liked about this. There, there were very, the, you got the beginning description of the main character and then you didn't get any other description out of other characters, out of places, nothing. Basically, if you don't live in St. Paul or Minneapolis, you have no idea what it looks like. I live in St. Paul and there is even a church that he mentioned that I know exactly where that church is. I have been there multiple times and it just, but he constantly is like, St. Paul, St. Paul, St. Paul. And I'm like, I get it. You're local. But, and there are quite a few trigger warnings for this book as well. So on page four, is the murder of a cat, which it's a werewolf. It makes sense. But there's also rape, miscarriage, abuse, as well as uh, domestic partner abuse. So if you do pick up this book, um, just, just be aware of those. There may be more trigger warnings that I don't know of because there's no information about this book on Goodreads or Storygraph other than its generic summary. Um, so just know the trigger warnings are unknown. There were no reviews on Goodreads except for my one star review, so that's great for the book. Um, yeah, there's, there's just so much. And there are even plot holes already that I was coming across and things that just did not, were not that, like, no. Like, no. So... Yeah, I just, there is nothing that intrigued me to keep reading the book. There is nothing that I liked about it. And I'm not going to force myself to read it. I'm not going to force myself to finish it because I do that so often. And it puts me in a slump or, you know. So, I just hit my head with the book. Um, I am not a fan. I'm very disappointed and... Yeah, so that now being said, I've obviously still got time tonight, so I'm going to pick up Red Wolf and get started on this uh, because I want to read something good. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm being so mean, but it's, it's my honest opinion, it's my honest review, so please don't hate me for hating something. Again, you could pick it up and honestly love it, and if that's the case, good for you. Um, I'd be very happy for you, but it's just, I can't stand it. So, I am going to start on Red Wolf, and I'm really excited to read this. Um, yeah, I don't know how far I'll make it tonight, because I did start watching booktube videos. Oh, the other thing I was going to update is that my, <laughs> my vlog is up at 9.30 at night. My vlog for Dark Academia is up. I have shared links to it in my Twitter and Bookstagram. And if you're not following me on those or TikTok or like Goodreads or any of those bookish social sites, look down below. I have all of my handles down below so you can follow me where I post regular updates on the books that I'm reading and anything bookish. And at this point, most things Haku as well, but I mean, Haku is a tortoise, he doesn't really do much, but anytime he does do something interesting or adorable, it'll be on there. Haku is the tortoise, for those of you who don't know, we just got him a few weeks ago, and if you have watched the vlog that I just put up, well, now just put up, put up about a week ago at this point, um, you get to see him explore outside, and I loved it, and he obviously loved it. So, anyway, yeah. I have my first DNF of the reading extravaganza, my first one star. So hopefully the other two books that I pick up will be good. I've heard a little bit of buzz about this on YouTube, really not a lot though, and I've heard absolutely nothing about Curses, the third book that I have picked out for this. So it's definitely going to be an interesting reading week, but I'm really excited for it. And 
I don't want to say I have high hopes, but in comparison to Hound of God, anything is a high hope, so I'm just going to get started on this. I'll, unless I make significant progress, I probably won't update you tonight, and I'll just update you tomorrow. It's literally like two minutes later. I just realized that <laughs> I actually have a really exciting bonus content for you that will already be out by the time this video goes up. Um, but so bonus content on top of my extra videos, I on October 1st will have released an interview with an author. I know, I was so excited. It's my first time interviewing an author. It was so much fun. It was great. It, it's a 15 minute interview. Um, so it's, it's not like one of those really long ones. And we talk about her new book, Where the Briar Sleep, which I have a copy of on my bookshelf. I should go get it. Got it. Alright, I got it. Her book, Where the Briar Sleep, it came out this past July. I love this book. It's such an amazing Victorian uh, ghost story. Um, I would highly recommend picking it up, especially the spooky season. Um, so I had an interview with her about this book, the inspiration behind it, her life growing up in a haunted house, essentially where this novel takes place and just learning about her writing process and getting sneak peeks at potential future works. Um, but don't worry, the entire interview is spoiler free. So if you haven't read the book, you don't have to worry about spoilers at all. Um, so yeah, that was really exciting. That's going up on October 1st, which as of filming is tomorrow. I'm literally like uploading it right now. But <laughs> so I did that and then I decided that, you know, I just don't feel like reading. Um, like, reading is great, obviously. <laughs> I love it, but I think tonight I just need to chill and kind of not focus my brain so much. So I've decided to watch my movie of the week for um, the theme. <laughs> and y'all are gonna laugh at me because the movie I have chosen is The Boy Who Cried Werewolf, the Nickelodeon movie with Victoria Justice. I watched... <laughs> I am a creature of habit, so when I find certain movies within a genre that I don't watch all year round, I will gravitate to those movies. Like, I will watch Hocus Pocus every year, Halloween Town movies every year, um, you know, like, just all the classics I watch over and over again. And so, this year, so my werewolf movie that I watch is The Boy Who Cried Werewolf, and I'm gonna watch that tonight. So... There you go. Feel free to laugh at me. But yeah, I still watch like kids movies like that. But it's just fun and it's nostalgic and I enjoy it. So that's probably what I'm going to do today. I probably won't read. So I'll catch up with you tomorrow about actual reading.
We love waking up at 6 a.m. to go to work on a Saturday. Mm. Hello, it is Sunday morning, and yeah, again, I haven't vlogged much the past couple days because I haven't been reading too much. I, I did start Red Wolf, by the way. Uh, you saw the clip of that, and I'm enjoying it so far. I'm only like 20 pages in, but I... It's very like strong little red riding hood vibes but I just I know she's gonna turn into the wolf like I'm pretty I don't know, like I'm pretty sure it doesn't say that in like the description but I'm just expecting it to happen so I think it'll be very interesting um, but I am loving it so far and there's a very clear uh, main love interest at the very beginning and I am suspicious of them I have no reason to be but I am so that's kind of where we're at today. We're gonna do a really, really fun activity and I'll try and vlog as much as I can, but I am very shy about vlogging in public, especially at events like this, so. But let's go see what I did film. Hello, it's Sunday night, and I'm very sad to report that I have not really done much reading in Red Wolf. I started it a couple pages in, I enjoy it, I just haven't been in a sit down and read type of mood lately, but hopefully I will get a bunch of reading done tomorrow. But, as you saw, we went to a convention today. That's right, we went to the Twin Cities convention. It is the first time they have host they have done this convention so it was very small very new uh but it was a lot of fun with lots of cosplay it was amazing um and i actually bought some books so there was a local author who had self-published her own trilogy as well as an additional book and I, that looked really interesting and the author was just so lovely um, so I bought all of her books yep the first book in her trilogy is the hunt of the Grimalkin and the author is Danny Swanson she is so wonderful so sweet she gave me a discount on all the books because I bought them all so this is the first in the trilogy it is about the witch um, in Irish mythology which if you know me, if you've been to my channel before, you know I have such a huge thing for Irish mythology. Like, I love all mythology, but Irish, mytho Irish mythology specifically is... I love it. So, the Grimalkin is a cat-like creature from Irish mythology who may or may not steal your soul. Um, but anyway, so the witch makes up, wakes up in the middle of the woods and has no idea who she is, what's going on, what's happened. Um, so, yeah, I am really excited to read this. I've already read the first chapter, and I think it's going to go a lot better than the last local self-published author that I read. Looking at you, Hound of God. <laughs> Couldn't do it. Uh, but I think this is going to be so much better, so much cooler, um, just much more down my alley and just much better writing already within the first couple of pages such a beautiful natural aesthetic and atmosphere has been set up and i love it so much already this might be an amazing fall read just gonna say so this is the first one the second one in the trilogy is lily quinn and the grimalkin so it's a continuation and then and she she told me about how she builds in her world um, in each novel, um, I don't always remember exactly how, but I know that you do get to travel around the world, and then the last one in the trilogy is the Circle of Owls, and I believe that has to deal with the Secret Society, and it's the finale, and then the standalone companion novel, or the anthology, um, is The Winding Woods, and so she said you don't need to read the trilogy in order to read this book, however there are nods and little references to the characters from the trilogy in there, so I would like to read the trilogy first so I can pick up on all the little uh, nods and mentions, but you don't need to. So I, I bought all of her books, and that's the only thing I bought from Khan. Um, 
but yeah so I am super excited to read these these are about to bounce to the top of my TBR uh, once I finish my spooky season reading extravaganza so hmm. yeah so I bought these and I am super excited late on Sunday night so I'm gonna go to bed and hopefully tomorrow will be a much more interesting reading day I would love to goals my goals would be to read a chunk of Red Wolf tomorrow and hopefully finish it earlier on Tuesday so then Tuesday I can start curses and then I can finish curses Wednesday ish which I know is pulling it close again and I didn't like doing that last week but oh well um, but I also I know I haven't hold for the audiobook for curses um, so it would be so much easier if I could get that before the end of the week but I don't know it's at any time within the next two weeks so I might just have to read it without the audiobook which is fine it'll just be a little slower but I still think I can do it I just need to actually sit down and read but also fun fact I actually did some writing today which is exciting because I've been really wanting to get back into writing I do have a novel that I am attempting to write it started off as a school uh, writing project and I want it to be something a little bigger just for fun um, so I will be participating in NaNoWriMo this year I know it's kind of an early call but the AC just kicked on so I'll probably end the clip there then uh, yeah I'll catch up with you more tomorrow when I have more to say I need to update this vlog because I did an update for quite a while again. It's Tuesday morning, so I wasn't updating the vlog because I wasn't doing any reading. I just kind of fell into a, oh, I was watching all these good TV shows. So I'd rather watch those than like read the book. Big mistake because last night I finally started like seriously reading Red Wolf. And I got 115 pages into it, and I am loving this so far. I, I love the aspects of Little Red Riding Hood, the atmosphere and the setting with the dark wood, and the little village is one of the cutest but also spookiest. It's really nice because the village is like this small, everyone knows everyone, everyone knows where they live. They live in little cottages with the town square in the middle like I, I love that vibe it's such a small town like old and I love it but then you have uh the dark woods and that is just creepy eerie things are crawling after you there are monsters everywhere but can you see them <laughs> no <laughs> and then there's grandma's uh cabin in the dark wood on property that she protects and I love that I love it so much it's this perfect balance of uh, cozy fall and spooky season read and it's it's hitting all the right notes for me and then on top of that I love the characters I love the little relationship uh, that our main character Adela has with her younger sister Sophia and her mom and the love interest is actually one I am enjoying um, mo mostly because it's actually like the book has them actually showing time together and saying hey you know they actually do like each other because they spend time together so uh, my day is going to be not hopefully as busy I'm probably gonna do a lot of listening to this as I do other things like cleaning so that's kind of the plan not too much not too involved but just just to read this book so I can get started on curses and finish the week okay hello it's Tuesday afternoon, it's a little past three, and I can finally give you a good reading update. In fact, so good that it's probably not. But I finished Red Wolf, so I meant to stop and like get my thoughts part way through, but I didn't because I didn't want to stop because I wanted to just keep reading. So yeah, this was a really good book. I'm giving it 4.5 out of 5 stars. I loved the atmosphere and the setting I think were the strongest in this book. It was amazing and I loved the characters as well. There was there was a little bit of a love triangle, which I am not a fan of love triangles, but I felt like this one wasn't too bad. Like I didn't really hate it per se because 
I feel like with love triangles, both of the traditionally guys are such jerks to everyone, the girl included, and that did not happen. And there were just other things that typical uh, love triangles do that bug me, but that weren't quite in this book. So it was okay. It was okay. Um, this also had the very much the kind of ending that I like, so I won't spoil it, but I will say I, I much prefer endings that aren't long and drawn out, like the action ends and then it kind of just keeps going. I don't like that, but I liked this ending. Uh, yeah, phenomenal red, Little Red Riding Hood retelling with the werewolf twist. I loved it. I am so happy I read it and oh my word. And I was just like, and the little influences of French in there too just made it seem like such a cozy little village. And they're like, oh, he built my cottage so that when I marry him, we have a place to live. And I'm like, oh, that's so cute. <sighs> that's so precious. So, plus her mom owns a bakery. So like all the warm, cozy vibes in a bakery. I just, I loved it. So, yeah. I would highly recommend if you love retellings, if you love fantasy, if you just need a cozy fall slash winter read. I can see how this would be good in winter because it's it takes it's it happens right after the big freeze. So it's kind of more at the beginning of winter and like the cover is very white, but it had just such a cozy atmosphere that I think it would be good during fall or winter. So now that I've given my little mini review of this, that means I can move on to the last book in this reading vlog, Curses by Lish McBride. And I'm a little nervous about this one purely because um, it's a little chunky and I still haven't gotten the audiobook for it, but I need to finish it kind of around midday tomorrow, I would really love. So we'll see, I'll get started on it very quickly right now though. I realized I never actually finished watching The Boy Who Cried Werewolf. I've got 11 minutes and 24 seconds left in the film. So I'm going to watch the last 10 minutes of this film. <laughs> and then hopefully I will start reading Curses. And I believe Curses is going to be a um, like a reverse Beauty and the Beast retelling where she is turning into a beast. And he needs to, and, and they need to fall in love, basically. Um, so I, it, it's going to be interesting. I'm a little nervous, but yeah, I'm going to watch this film, take a short break from reading, and then hopefully I can make really good progress on it. I would love to be halfway through it, but I also know that if I start watching this movie, there's a very good chance I will get distracted by other movies, TV shows, or booktube. Because one of my favorite booktubers also just uploaded a video and I want to watch it. So, yeah. I'll update you later. Hopefully it'll be a reading update, but I'm not promising anything. Alright, so it is Wednesday morning and I'm going to close out the vlog here. Um, so basically what I'm doing is... Well, first off, I'm still trying to upload my video for yesterday. Um... Basically what's been happening is the device I've been filming things on has been uploading things really, really slowly. So I can't, I've spent almost 24 hours now trying to get the clips that I filmed yesterday um, uploaded so that I can email it to myself or upload it to Google Drive or get it so that they're from this device onto my computer. And no, I don't have a cord that would do that for me. Um, so th that video is late, but as soon as uh, I get all the clips onto my computer, I will edit them very quickly and upload it to YouTube as soon as possible. I fear the same thing may happen for this video <laughs> because this video will be longer, but um, well, it, it might be longer. Um, so I'm, I am trying to post it on Thursday, but that's why I'm ending the vlog now, Wednesday morning, is so that I can spend all of Wednesday trying to upload these clips so that hopefully I can have them uploaded in time for me to edit and upload to YouTube. So anyway, that's that. I've decided that Curses 
this book. So I read the prologue, and I liked it, and I, it's got one of those, like, map, family maps, so you can know who everyone is, how they're related, and who they are, and whatnot at the beginning, and I feel like that combined with how thick the book is, and how I just don't, it's not calling my name at the moment, but I think it's because I'm a little intimidated by it, just with the idea of, oh, I would need to finish it today, but I don't have, but I'm still on hold for the audiobook, and I have a lot of other things I need to do today. So I'm going to put this book on pause, because if I don't, if I try and sit here and physically read it all day, uh, I feel it might put me in a slump, or it might burn me out, and we're only halfway through this extravaganza, so I don't want to be in a slump or to be burned out, so I... So I'm just going to leave it at that. I DNF'd Hound of God because it was terrible, but I got a good chunk through that one. I read Red Wolf. I gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars. I loved it. I don't quite know why I'm not giving it 5 stars. Um, I think it just didn't quite have enough for me, but it's not something I can express in words yet because I still very much loved it. I may bump it up to 5 stars. Who knows? Um, and then I'm putting a pause on curses until later when I have time or, or I actually feel like it. And another reason I really don't want to burn out, especially right now, is because this next week is ghosts. And I am so excited for my ghost books. I've got four of them. Yeah, I've got four of them. Two middle grades, one graphic novel, and the first book in a trilogy. So I'm really excited to start reading those, and so I honestly might start reading them today rather than tomorrow, just because I still want to read today. I just don't want to try and read a chunky book in a day. So I might start next week's vlog in a few minutes, or I might get some things done first, but yeah, so I'm closing out the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so that you can watch all of my other vlogs. I have almost somewhat been going up on Thursdays, as they should, uh, but I do release other videos during the week. Should be on Tuesdays, but as I described earlier, not always. So subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified when it actually does upload. Um, otherwise, feel free to comment down below uh, if you know of any good... Uh, werewolf or shape-shifting books or any ghost books to add on for next week um but yeah thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next one until then i wish you happy spooky reading mm -hmm.